Hey folks, welcome to this new multiplayer uh, Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4. I'm Perry. And I'm Keb. And we are starting afresh with the uh, Mandate of Heaven expansion and uh, the new Ming rules 1.20.1. One. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we like to start off these games by having randomly selecting the nations we want to. We're playing with a random new world. Uh, now we like to do random new nations... This has been smacking us in the face, <laughs> face rather like a baseball bat. So this is... It had, uh, yeah, we had a few false starts. Yeah, we're not ones to put up outtakes just for simple reasons. But, well, some myriad of reasons we might discuss someday. But if we were, we would have weeks worth of footage. At any rate, we're also playing with hard difficulty and random locations, which kind of contributes to our downfalls here. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. And, yeah, uh, well, your downfall is again the last one. Your luckiest, your best choice was Salzburg. So, so my first choice is Muscovy. Oh, there we go. I like it, but again, I just finished one out there on the steps, so I'd rather not true. have that. It's like, hey, look, I get to do it again. <laughs> Where we're at, which is one I haven't played before, but it's just basically Mus Muscovy with ho with horses. Continuing the Siberian theme for my <laughs> selections, we have Buryatia. Uh-huh. If I get Karen or Yaren, I'm just out of here. Oh, the game has got a sense of humor. Kazembi. What is what's that one? Oh there we go. Down yep, <laughs> Africa. down in Africa. That one actually is appealing because I've not played Africa before. Oh yeah, okay. And it gives me Aragon again. Hey, that's a good you have at least a pretty good selection of nations. I found where your luck from last game went. <laughs> okay. Your my turn, my friend. So let's see. First one is going to be... <laughs> France. <laughs> okay. So you won't have a repeat of last time. No. Next one should be Castile. No. Not well. Dundar. Yeah. Okay. okay. Welcome to India. Mm -hmm. Mossy. Okay. Mossy Green. Norway. Oh, well, that's hitting a little close to home. Oh, my. Um, mm -hmm. Last one. Ayutthaya, the cursed nation of Siam. Yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> so, folks, we'll now take a couple seconds as we look over the, our choices to realize how how bad of choices we have. No, I, I, well, these are the best choices we've had for ages. I mean, both of us have actually some serious nations in this list. Oh, yeah. And we hadn't had that before. Not for long time. Oh, yeah, not for the last several attempts. Yeah. And it's worth noting, folks, we generally try to avoid starting too close to each other. We don't... Mm -hmm. We don't generally like fighting each other. Um, early days of EU1 and EU2 when we'd play, we'd occasionally do in the wars, and they would always end badly. It would sour the whole game, so we try to avoid that. Now, if there's, like, giant outcry in our comment sections, you have to fight, well, we'll reconsider. <laughs> but you've got to put out and make the comments, so... <laughs> it's all on you guys. Uh, if Norway wasn't so darn poor in this game... Uh. Man, they've got it simulating real life incredibly closely. I'm sorry. I'm still here. <laughs> Let's see, Dundar starts... Uh, where are they even? There they are. Right in the middle of the mess. They, okay, they don't start as a subject state. Never mind then. Well, they have some pretty beefy military ideas. Who is this? Uh, Dundar. Yeah, no, they're actually not a bad country. So, are you actually thinking about starting in Kazembe? I have to ask. Um, <laughs> there's a certain level of temptation there. Let me start off with... Huh... Oh, 
Okay, Norway has a lot more development than I remember them having. You know, I'm probably will go with Aragon. Unless you have an absolute thirst for France, at which point then I'll find someplace else. No, no, no. Um, I'm just trying to decide here. Uh, between Norway and Ayutthaya, probably most likely. Well, I'm, I'm tem very tempted to try Norway just to see if I can get off the ground. That does mean we're going to be friendly over in the New World, I suppose. Well, no, that's simple. It's easy enough to resolve. You just give me everything I want, and then you can have one. <laughs> can we actually see the trade nodes out here? No, sadly. Because no, one I mean, way to give, get get an indication of what's going on in the new world is to look at the trade nodes. Follow? Yeah. But yeah, nah, hell, I'll try Norway and see if we can survive. Now watch, this game will crash. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Here we go. Arch King. That's a cool Arch one. King? Yeah, I just uh, the King of Denmark. Arch King. I haven't seen that title oh, before. Because of, of his overlordship? I don't know. That's true, I am, of course, a subject state. Um, improve relations with Scotland. They probably rival me since I'm allowed to do that. Ah. Of course they don't rival me. This um, game starts me with, with Castile as my rival. Yeah. The bright That's side. unfortunate. On the bright side, anyone who's their enemy will be more likely to support you. Uh, let's see now. We are going to... Why can I even set that? Okay, no active subject interaction. We are going to set you... Manage attitude, mm. attitude. Hostile. Yes. That's the spirit. We're gonna be hostile. So, let's see. Who are your enemies? Lithuania and England. Well, we're definitely gonna get England. Let's see. England! Thank you for your support. You're welcome. Lithuania. Thank you for your support. What was the last one? Hmm? Oh, God. Ah, oh, you're not willing to support me. Uh, Scotland? Let's see, do we have any... I'm just getting some support for independence, you see. Oh, yes. I see what you're doing. Um, the problem is, of course, if I, I can probably beat Denmark alone, but uh, yeah, they're gonna bring in Sweden. So unless Sweden oh, yeah. starts becoming rowdy, uh, I'm not gonna have much luck doing this. Thing is, though, if I go right now, I could bring in Lithuania. Always useful. Uh, oh yeah, the macro builders should probably go there. Uh, can I find who are willing to be, let's see? Ask for support, independence. Wrong button. I'm trying to extort extort control from my. Uh, That's good. Right off the bat, only England and Lithuania are willing to support my independence. I'm having trouble getting more of them. Okay. And you are infertile. Okay. 
Let's see. How can I break the Dawn Union? Mm, hacksaw works. Your mission is to... That's looking good, that's looking good. to move my capital out to Iceland or something. Oh, the runaway approach. That will do it. I, mean, I just figured, um, since I got England on my side, and since the war goal for any independence will be to protect your capital, mm. that seems like the best option. And if, that yeah. works for, if that works for you, yeah. I don't Cap know about Kingdom that. of Norway ruled from Reykjavik. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's gonna be a while. I fear. Let me say when. Uh, when? Generate, yeah, I think we're ready to roll. Let's see if this works. Right. Here we go. Scotland just fell off the list right away. Uh. <laughs> Way to go. Thank you. So, my overlord. Have an insult. Do I really want to ally with France? Who are France's allies? Austria, Burgundy, England. I will decline France because I want you as a friend, not not as an anchor. Alliance. Let's see. Our king sucks. All the way around it. Um, I think we're gonna relocate our army too. And navy. Run away! Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we can't possibly afford to keep this fort maintained, but. to be disloyal, Sweden. I know you do. Mm. 
You know, it's generally worth, not worthwhile to try to tame a rival, but I would rather I would rather be friendly with Castile than not. So that's worth that effort. Good luck with that. That's worth that effort. That's no. Now my army's at cap. So we'll also discourage discourage a little bit of my neighbor. Let's see. If uh, if Lithuania is in a war when they get the Union event, are they pieced out of that war? I don't recall. I don't recall either. Because I'm, yeah. If they're pieced out, then I don't want to start this war now. But if they are not, well, fortune favors the bold. <laughs> so I don't think it's gonna happen. No, I, I'm gonna have to be loyal for a bit. I think. Just gonna cut on that. And uh, probably gonna mothball this fleet. Where is mothball? There we go. That's good there. Pope hates you, General hates you, Platinum hates you, Britain hates you. Okay, well, that's good to know you're hated. Denmark needs more enemies. Well, that's just a state. Of, that's just common sense. Of course, they need more enemies. More enemies, so I can get more friends. That makes a little less sense, actually. Mm, right, you don't really hate Denmark, but you could possibly switch. And Denmark has to pick a new rival. At least I got my liberty desire up to a hundred. That's good. We are at war. Yeah, don't stop. Oh. Yeah, we're at war, but that doesn't mean we're gonna do anything. Maintain our forts, no chance. Let him fall. I like the fact that Paradox releases Mandate of Heaven, which focuses on improvements to gameplay in the Far East, and we're both playing Atlantic countries. <laughs> so, Denmark, who did you bring us into war with? Oh, yeah, that. This war ain't gonna. <laughs> ah. Oh, good lord. Did you really... Oh, please. Did you really ally... Yeah, they did. Denmark allied Muscovy. Went to war with Novgorod. Yeah. Sounds like fun. And, uh, but this is Denmark's war, though. That's kind of curious. So that's going to prevent Muscovy from doing much here. And Odoyev is on <laughs> Novgorod's side, by the way. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, do you have? If you, you got that one in one yeah. more... One more roll, so I've already forgotten which one. It was... <laughs> it was many times ago. Yeah, Denmark declared this war, but their army is busy sieging down some rebels.
Oh, good. West Africa is at war with itself. Or North West Africa. The Berber Coast. I'm sure you'll be able to take advantage of that soon enough. At some point. I need to bring Castile into line first. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Got a free Sorry forge. Of course, we can't maintain it. Not, at the, not right now, at least. But that's okay. Bowes Land Fort in the Hill Province. That's actually pretty good. Uh, between them. Ah, oh, dang it. They, they can still march here and then through. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the development of Valencia is, is increasing the possible Manchu banners by point, uh, plus 2.9. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm mousing over development in Valencia, my capital. Yeah. The last line is possible Manchu banners, plus 2.9. Okay. I'm not sure exactly how that would work. <laughs> Because if the Manchu have conquered this far west, something strange has happened. Uh, dear Sweden, don't waste all your army. Either you, or... What am I saying? Either, either waste all your army or don't. But uh, <laughs> one way or the other. I'm not. I'm just gonna sit quietly over here <laughs> in the mountains. Save up money. See if I can get more people to support independence. Closer to that. You can do it. I believe you. I did have another option, by the way. I can move my capital to the Orkney Islands. Yes. Wouldn't go to the Faroe Islands? The point with the Orkneys is that that means I can be completely safe, because England and Scotland would support my independence, and their armies can actually reach that province, so it won't fall. Okay. At least that's my thinking on the matter. Could very well be wrong. I am now gaining splendor. Curse you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be getting splendor at all here. And not as long as we are I'm this tied. Um Recall that diplomat. Recall uh, what the heck? Why won't you let me? Try for a second. Uh, da, 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 now that we have more 
diplomatic reputation on anyone anywhere near willingness to help us. Uh, next one on the list is Leinster and Riga. I don't think they're going to be willing to support my independence. Ooh, Lannisters. Castile. Seriously, Castile? Mm. Minus 97. It's not quite likely. Poland still hasn't secured their little shindig. <laughs> yeah, Denmark declared this war, but Moscow holds everything. And I do mean everything. Sounds about right. But because Moscow took the Novgorod mission, they must have, yeah. So they have claims on everything. Uh, money. Or stability. Yeah. Oh, like Speaking of stability, we've reached a good breaking point. Okay, we'll do that, and we'll eventually we'll find out what's over there in the unknown world. Hey, folks, we will eventually peel back that uh, that cloud of randomness. Mm-hmm. That'll be another day. Time for a break. Yep. Thanks for watching. <laughs>